Along the Delaware coast, beachgoers are encountering ships, pipes, and heavy equipment. So along the Delaware coast, we are dredging and doing beachville operations in five communities. Uh, altogether, we're pumping about 1.3 million cubic yards of sand uh, between the five communities, and it's all designed to maintain the dune and the berm system here uh, and really reduce the risk of storm damages to infrastructure. The effort involving three project areas to reduce the risk to five communities came under a single contract, which provided enhanced risk reduction at a reduced cost. This year happened that we got funding uh, uh, partially through uh, the bill, uh, the bipartisan infrastructure law, and our regular program to fund uh, all the pro all the Delaware uh, Atlantic Coast projects. So we're able to put them under one contract and save on our mobilization and, and demob costs. For the three areas receiving sand, including the beachfront in the city of Rehoboth Beach, the project provides much needed risk reduction to a multi-billion dollar economic driver for the communities and state. They ended up putting over 300,000 cubic yards of sand back on our beach. Tremendous effort. Tremendous. Uh, that's our lifeblood. Where else can you go and have this beach with the amenities that are here? Uh, really nowhere. So without that beach, um, you know, we wouldn't have Rehoboth. Before the first grain of sand is pumped up to the shoreline, though, a team of experts working at the Philadelphia District perform the necessary pre-work to determine where to place and how much sand is needed. We've got coastal engineers who their, their life is working uh, beachville projects and the science behind it, the, the hydraulics and hydrology, the geotech. We've got to look at sandbar areas out in the Atlantic coast uh, and uh, looking at where we're going to put sand. We've had hot spots. Hot spots are where uh, you know the beach is eroding more than other places. Throughout the process, the team works with local communities and non-federal sponsors to develop the best plan on how to deliver the project with the least amount of impact on the daily lives of local citizens and visitors. The community understands the importance of having that dune and the berm system in place. When, we work, when work creeps into the summer season, it can be inconvenient, but uh, we try to minimize that impact to the best of our ability by closing small sections of the beach at a time. Um, and we're working through this. We're hoping to be finished here in the early July uh, time frame. It's been great. Uh, the guys from Philly District have been down here the whole time, uh, managing the contract, keeping us well informed of what's going on. A lot of coordination had to happen because obviously we still wanted to use the beach while they were working on it. So we had to move people around and that kind of thing. The contractor was great. Uh, Core managed that for us. And now we're just finishing up with some of the dune crossings uh, to get the fencing put back up and those kind of things. With the work wrapping up for all three projects, these Delaware communities can breathe a little easier when coastal storms come near. Yeah, when we talk about reducing risk along our coastline, we're talking about infrastructure. Um, and here in, along the Delaware coast, that includes homes, businesses, boardwalks, roads, even utility lines. And all of that is vulnerable uh, to damage from storm events, nor'easters, hurricanes, and other events. And so having the dune in place is a crucial part uh, of really managing that risk along the coastline. From Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, Patrick Bloodgood, 